think about it. I mean, I, they did the right thing because he's really done a heck of a job. And so Boston has it to start. Pacers beat the Celtics back in December. I mean, you, you're looking. It, this is what makes it hard. You're looking to, to help. Uh, I tried to go behind his back to Halliburton. Oh, but this off is a foul. Here's Tatum. And the rebound tipped out of there. Williams has it. Cross court pass to Brogdon. He's shooting 46%. He chased a guy that wasn't his. And, and he just had a really good shot that he made there. Ooh. Grand job throwing the foul. Yep, Chris, you and I have talked about that. You play with you, you a great team, that's who you bring off the bench. I mean, you don't bring guys. Robert Williams the third in his fifth year out of Texas A&M missed the first 29 games after having a knee procedure. He played against oh. Indiana back in December. That's a miss by Brogdon. Here's White again. Running is Matherin. He has Brogdon to beat and Brogdon fouled him. Brogdon finds White. Met at the rim and got it in over Tice. Brown Hauser, the five for Boston. They've got the best overall record in the NBA and the best road record, and that's going to be a basket counted for Brogdon. Particularly if you go into a zone. Malcolm Brogdon played 146 games with. Now McConnell leaves it off for Duarte. Ball loose, picked up, and McConnell couldn't get it. Brogdon bounces ahead to Brown. You go through stretches that you get bored, and then, they, you know, the Pacers in this case have to take advantage of it. We've seen that over the years. Malcolm Brogdon, the strong drive. He has eight. 48-39. Duarte cut off by Hauser. His jumper short. Even though the shot clock is running down, and I tell you, you know, obviously, Halliburton does a great job of, of faking it and getting them a wide open shot. Brogdon answers with another three. Smart. Rims out of three, rebound tip by Brown. How about that? He lost the ball in midair. It's gold to the next basket in the fence. Hauser for oh. three. Oh. Lee Smith is back in. McConnell is checked in. I like this. They, they put um, Lee Smith back in. That, that's a good deal. That a bad decision. Brogdon finds Williams. And Williams gives the Celtics the lead. In the paint. He split time last year in Boston and with Houston. He started the year with the Rockets. Brogdon answers with a three. Behind his back to the baseline. Got to finish the play. Gonna go behind your back. Shot clock at five. Deep three by Duarte is short. Rebounded by Brogdon. Well, this is one of the areas, Chris, and I'm sure that you, you got to wait. But it's an area where you miss Halliburton. Tatum hits it. White to Brogdon with five to shoot. Good really good defense. That's just, that's just a heck of a shot. Pacers down six, 108-102. Got a four-point lead, just under five minutes to play in the third. Here's Wara missing. Brogdon the rebound. They, they must have played against each other in the summer. It's just like he's got his number. Hauser for three in the corner. Ooh. Missed it. Batted out. Double it. Yeah, they take the double it. Now you, but you can't let him put it back. And now Brogdon in the corner for three. Hits another three. Halliburton now has the matchup he wants against Horford. Seven to shoot. Halliburton no. fires it up. No, he's up. He never got the rhythm. Third. Finds oh, heel for nice. three. But he missed. You had just what you wanted. Wilford sets the screen. Tatum downhill throws it out to Brogdon. Brogdon on the drive, and Brogdon got two more. 13th tie. We've had 22 lead changes. Tied at 136, and Brown got back to it. Just lost con Just lost him. And that's going to do that's it. it. And Tatum is going to dribble the clock out, and the Boston Celtics win in overtime.